Blessed be the name of the Lord our God. Good morning dear friends and greetings brothers and sisters in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is a new day and the Lord has allowed us to get into this new day and this is given to us that we may live and glorify him. Remember that is the the number one priority we have in our life as Christian as followers of Christ. Today's meditation is taken from Paul's letter to Philippians chapter 4 verses 4 and 5. You know the entire life of a true Christian is different from the life of the uh, rest of the world. The, there are certain qualities stand out and this morning I would like to meditate uh, with you two of the great qualities of a Christian life shown in today's scripture passage which says rejoice in the Lord always and again I say rejoice let your gentleness be known to all for the Lord is near that is the passage so the first quality of life I would like to meditate with you is the quality of joy Paul says, rejoice in the Lord always. I say it again, rejoice. It is as if he said it first, rejoice. Suddenly there flashed into his mind a picture of all that was to come. And Paul was in prison, sure of his uh, life uh, sentence of death. And death awaiting him. The Philippians were setting out in their Christian life. And the Christian way. It meant dark days. Dangers. And persecution. So Paul says. I know what I am saying. I have a thought. Of everything that can possibly happen. I have weighed everything. I have considered all uh, that lay ahead and still I say it, rejoice. Christian joy is independent of uh, all things on earth because it has its source in the continual presence of Jesus Christ with his people. You do not lose your joy because you cannot lose Jesus Christ. And as long as Christ is in you, who is the very source and fountain of this joy. And no matter where you are and what your circumstances, you cannot lose the joy. Remember his promise to you, I will never leave you, nor will I ever forsake you. This is God's promise. What a wonderful loving God is more than anything or anyone here in, uh, uh, for us. And so always remember your joy. Remember what Jesus said, peace I leave with you. Why you can be joyful all the, always? Because you have that ever abiding peace. And the peace that Christ gives and the peace that the world gives, there is a vast difference. The difference is the peace of this world depends on worldly circumstances that we have. But the peace of Christ is, it does not depend on our circumstances. It abides in us always, no matter what our circumstances. Isn't that wonderful, my friends? So today, you enjoy God's peace and joy. Let the joy of the Lord be your strength. And so the second quality I would like to talk about is the quality of gentleness. Let your gentleness be known to all, on men. The word for, for, for gentleness is one of the most untranslatable word in Greek language. It is epaiekai. That is a word. 
the difficulty can be seen by the number of translations uh, given to it. Listen to this. It means moderation. It needs patience. It means softness. It means patient mind. It means modesty. It means forbearance. And it means forbearing spirit. And it means magnanimity. And it means nobly generous. These are the words given as meaning to this one word. Gentleness in Greek language. The Greek themselves explained this word as justice and as something better than justice. Now, a man has the quality of a gentleness if he knows when not to apply justice or the strict letter of the law. When to relax the law and introduce mercy. He knows that regulations are not the last word. And a Christian is the one who knows there is something beyond justice. For example, the woman caught in adultery. Here Jesus could have applied the letter of the law, according to which she could have been stoned to death. But he went beyond justice. And what is beyond justice? Mercy. As far as justice is concerned, there isn't one of us who deserve anything other than condemnation of God. Jesus went beyond justice and applied mercy and forgiveness. Paul says here, a Christian is the one who in his relationship with his uh, fellow men knows when to insist justice and when to remember that there is something beyond justice. The conclusion is this, my friend. Why should a Christian be like that? Because the Lord is near. That is what Paul says. Let your gentleness be known to all, for the Lord is near. He is at hand. Jesus Christ is coming. And when he comes, he will deal with all of us. If we remember the coming triumph of Christ, we shall never lose our joy or our happiness. We shall deal with men with gentleness. Like Christ. His last word was not justice. His last word was mercy and forgiveness. Because he took upon himself all the condemnation that should have fallen upon our body and upon us. Jesus Christ, what a savior, what a wonderful friend we have in Jesus. He carried all our sorrows. He carried all our sicknesses. He carried all the condemnation and the wrath of God upon sin. And he set us free. And therefore, he alone knows that there is something beyond justice. Oh, that word mercy and forgiveness. What a comfort it must bring to us. And friends, you must be grateful to God because if he has not shown us mercy where we would have been today without knowing the joy of his salvation. Today we have that joy and we know that we have eternal life with Jesus to live with him. And as you live today, 
remember that you owe it to others to deal with the way Jesus would deal with gentleness. Let your gentleness be known to all. Hallelujah. What a quality in life. Let us praise God that His grace enables us. And I pray for you today that you will live such a life and your gentleness be known to all. And remember, there is something beyond justice or the letter of the law. And let us treat others the way that Jesus Christ dealt with us and treat us even today. Because he does not remember or do anything against us what our sin actually deserves. Thank you, Jesus. I pray that your people today shall enjoy your wonderful, loving presence. And because we know we have Jesus in our hearts, we cannot lose our joy because you are the very fountain and source of that joy. Let it fill our hearts. Let, it, let us spread wherever we, wherever we go the fragrance of this love of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, Amen. God bless you, my friend. This is a great day. Enjoy this day and have a great and wonderful day. Amen.